Contest is set for one fall. It is for the Ring of Honor World Championship. Introducing first the challenger from King Lind, England, weighing in at 250 pounds. He's the national treasure, Nick Aldis. And introducing next. From Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 200 pounds, he is the reigning, defending, Ring of Honor World Champion, Jonathan Grisham! And right there is the Ring of Honor World Champion. What I say is one of the best wrestlers in the entire world, and what he says is the best wrestler in the entire world. And of course, Nick Aldis is standing across from him. So those are some very, very tough words. And referee Ray Ray Sanders holding up the Ring of Honor World title here at the Wrestle Center. That is what it's all about today. It's our main event. It's our super bout here at our anniversary blockbuster spectacular. And it's almost bell time. And here we go, Nick Aldis on your left, Jonathan Gresham on your right, Ring of Honor, NWA, both here at Memphis Wrestling. And we're underway. Collar and elbow tie up, immediately going to the, and you can see why they call him the octopus right away. <laughs> Waste no time. Absolutely wasting no time. Now there are different rules in Ring of Honor that we have here at Memphis Wrestling, so we've kind of merged the two together. For instance, no closed fists. That's a staple here in Memphis Wrestling. There's a schoolboy one. Got a quick two count right there. Surprising Nick Aldis. I don't think people here at Memphis Wrestling know how to wrestle without closed no, fists. No, you're exactly right. The South is different. Of course, you shake hands before every match. They've done that. No outside interference. No harming the officials. No sneak attacks. Very, very typical of Memphis Wrestling. I was about to say, no outside interference. That kind of goes without saying that, right? <laughs> For who? Nice reversal here from Nick Aldis, and he gets it. This is going to be a good old fashioned pro wrestling match, but a updated version. They're gonna be sitting in headlocks here. You can see Aldis and Gresham struggling for position here. Well, social media has been a buzzing. People wanted to see this match. They wanted to know, is it for the title? Is it not? What's going on? So it was, then it wasn't. And now Jonathan Gresham says that it absolutely is. And he's defending against one of the best in the world. And you could see the size differential here. Gresham is no slouch. He might be the smaller of the two. I mean, only in height. Only in height. <laughs> the reversals after reversals here. Gresham, just fantastic. But so is Nick Aldis. Referee Ray Ray Sanders in perfect position. See if there's any forfeits or submissions here. Way too early in this matchup though. Referee Ray Ray Sanders gets in there but allows a drop toe hold. And again, Nick Aldis able to turn it around into a hammer lock. Has Jonathan Gresham in a rough way, but you gotta stay out of reach from Jonathan Gresham. And what I mean is he can grab your head with his, his hands, his feet, his, his elbows, whatever. I mean, he doesn't go by the octopus for nothing. Right. And the fans of Memphis Wrestling here at the Wrestle Center applaud this pro wrestling. Both men with extremely hectic schedules going overseas and back, traveling all across the United States, Aldous with the NWA, and of course Gresham with Ring of Honor. 
A little bit of test of strength. Test of strength is automatically going to go in the advantage of Nick Aldis just because of the height differential. And I don't know if you could tell or not, but Nick Aldis is in pretty dang good shape. He's got some shoulders, arms, chest. He's they a big dude. They both have extremely large traps. But then <laughs> putting the size differential and the height, that gives Aldis the leverage. But there you go. Bone manipulation there, taking Aldis down to his back. Ladies and gentlemen, this wrestling match will continue for the Ring of Honor world title. When we come back, don't go away. Do you have what it takes to be a pro wrestler? Prove it. Train with the best at our Memphis Wrestling Wrestle Center. Now enrolling at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com slash training. Next Sunday, March 27th, don't miss AEW star Evil Uno and WWE Scotty Tuhati live at the Wrestle Center. Get your tickets right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Tonight, 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 we are live in Black Rock, Arkansas. Join us at 491 Elm Street in Black Rock. Meet the stars of Memphis Wrestling at 6.30. Bell time is 7 p.m. Get your tickets at the door or in advance at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. The Memphis Wrestling Fan of the Week is sponsored by Orion Federal Credit Union. Check out all the ways that Orion is redefining banking at orionfcu.com. Jets Pizza, the official pizza of Memphis Wrestling. Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling. Jonathan Gresham working his magic inside the ring to break this hold and turn it right back into a headlock, but another counter from Nick Aldis. What a program we've had today. We kicked it off with the first of two main events. Mickey James was here. We crowned a brand new women's champion and Skyler. Last week crowned brand new tag team champions. Thankfully, we haven't seen them here this week. It's truly been a wild show. But could we today crown a new ring of honor champion on Memphis wrestling? We could. We could, but will we? What's Gresham doing here? Wow. You know, I, I try to call the action like Gordon Soley or Lance Russell or, dare I say, Tony Schiavone, Jim Ross, all my favorite broadcasters, but I don't even know what to call some of this stuff. You know what? I call it like uh, Maria Star. You know what I call it? <laughs> I call it pure pro wrestling at its finest. Another standoff here. Looks like Aldis might be gripping his knee a little bit. Fans, don't forget to order NWA Crockett Cup tomorrow. Fight TV or wherever you watch your pay-per-view. Nick Aldis will be there. It's the Crockett Cup. You can find him on social media at NWA and the fans are chanting. This is awesome. And it is. Pro wrestling at its finest, at its purest, right here. Aldis trying to reach for that head. Smart move by the octopus. Jonathan Gresham going for the knees to take Aldis down. Another two count there. Aldis trying to break this grip, and he does with a pinfall, but Gresham hanging on to the legs and feet of Nick Aldis. Look at that, Maria, digging his fist into the spine and now into the lat to get that arm back there. Look at Jonathan Gresham.
And this is what he does, Maria. Wears his opponents down, out wrestles them, perhaps submits them somewhere in the process. Nice reversal by Aldis, but wearing that opponent down and then finally picking up the victory. As you can see, the cardio is incredible and impeccable from Gresham, but the same could be said about the national treasure, Nick Aldis. Gresham doing everything he can to power out of this, but Aldis with the leverage and the height advantage, possibly the strength advantage as well. Might take some technique to get out of here, but Gresham trying to power out of it. And it's reversed right back around from Nick Aldis. Look at Gresham. Haven't seen that very much on Memphis Wrestling or at all until now. Look at this crucifix into a panning predicament. Gets a two count. Referee Ray Ray Sanders, perfect position here. And the fans let these two men hear it again. Aldis versus Gresham for the Ring of Honor world title. They might have to fight forever. <laughs> no the, comment. The physical condition that both of these athletes are in, second to none. Standing side headlock from Nick Aldis. This has been a fine wrestling match. Top wrist lock now. Ooh, top wrist lock takeover really hurts. Just imagine being taken down with a grip like that on your arm, your shoulder, your elbow. Look at Gresham. Whoa, uses the rope to spin through. But once again, the leverage from Nick Aldis is too strong. Big arm drag from Nick Aldis takes Gresham down. Gresham as tough as it gets. Not only have we seen him compete in Ring of Honor, but we've seen him compete on Championship Wrestling presented by Car Shield, Championship Wrestling from Atlanta as well. Now he's here at the Wrestle Center. Oh, big block there from Aldis. Now they're coming right into your living room, fans. Gresham, middle rope, caught by Aldis. Into a suplex. How beautiful was that? Nick Aldis showing his strength advantage. Catching Gresham in a suplex off the middle rope. Gresham down, trying to protect himself. Aldis on the attack. Another standing suplex. Oh my God. He snapped that one down. Looks like Gresham might have landed on the higher part of his back and his neck. That's a two count. One second away from crowning a new champion for the second time today. Fans, Nick Aldis is in control. Can Gresham get out of this? We'll find out on the other side. Next Sunday, March 27th, don't miss AEW star Evil Uno and WWE Scotty Tuhati live at the Wrestle Center. Get your tickets right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Need a new fit and a fresh pair of kicks? Thrifty Man has new and pre-owned like new items just for you. 2235 Covington Pike, Thrifty Man. Well, man can dress nice for less price. What's up Memphis? This is Jaron Jackson Jr. from the Grizzlies, encouraging you all to shop where I shop. Platinum Jewelers here in Memphis. They do custom jewelry and have two locations in the area. One is 545 Perkins Extended in East Memphis. The other is 9387 Poplar next to Fresh Market in Germantown. Go to my spot, Platinum Jewelers. Sunday, April 10th, the Murder Hawk Monster returns to settle the score. Archer versus Gun Show, one on one, live in Memphis. Get your tickets at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Do you have what it takes to be a pro wrestler? Prove it. Train with the best at our Memphis Wrestling Wrestle Center. Now enrolling at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com slash training. 
Sunday, March 27th, beware of the worm. WWE star Scotty Tuhati is coming to Memphis Wrestling. Get your tickets at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. He's been working him over the entire commercial break and now a big backbreaker. Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling and the look on Jonathan Gresham's face says it. Aldis stalking his prey now. Two guys that are very well respected, not only in the pro wrestling business, but obviously by the fans and they respect each other as well. Every time you see Gresham move in a, you know, a, a unique type of way, Oh, nice suplex by Audis. You think that some sort of transition or reversal is coming. There has been a lot of technical wrestling in this match, Dustin, and I don't know what's coming next. No idea what's coming next. A far cry from what we had here last week when the posse and the young goats fought all over the wrestle center in an unsanctioned main event. We go from that main event to this main yeah. event. Shenanigans. Pure wrestling. Oh my gosh. Look at that, Gresham lands on his feet, but his, his back seems to be hurting. Now he's trying to take Aldis down. Aldis isn't going. Oh, wow. He's gonna make sure that he goes down. Basically popping that knee, could have popped it out of socket, but it takes Nick Aldis down and gives Jonathan Gresham that little bit of room that he needs to catch his breath and regroup. The champ's in trouble here. But keep an eye on Aldis's knee. Risky match, Nick Aldis taking this one, especially ahead of NWA Crockett Cup. Oh. What a chop from Gresham. Talk about hard hitting, and there's a big fist right to the face. That's where the rules are different here. Kip up from Gresham. What an enziguri. Going for the German suplex, but Gresham's back just will not allow it. Big boot. I mean, tick for tack. I thought it was tit for tack. I don't think you could say that on TV, Rhea. <laughs> oh, nobody home, Gresham. Misses the drop kick off the middle rope. The ring presence and ring awareness of Nick Aldis, as now he's going for the Texas Cloverleaf, his finishing maneuver. Springboard <laughs> moonsault from Gresham into an ankle lock. This could be it, fans. Yeah, it looks like Nick Aldis is in trouble. And he's in the center of the ring, right in the center of the Pro Shingle logo. Nowhere to go. Gresham. Oh my goodness. Traps the leg. Big German. Two count for Jonathan Gresham. What a match. The Ring of Honor world title on the line. Nick Aldis, one day away from the NWA Crockett Cup, vying for the Ring of Honor world title here today on Memphis Wrestling. He could make history. Gresham. Oh, Aldis's knee is not having it. Oh, look at this. Michi Noku driver from Nick Aldis. Since Jonathan Gresham to the mat, both men are down. You can hear the fans getting behind both competitors. Comes Nick Aldis. Big boot. Scoops him up. Nick Aldis going for a tombstone here. Oh, man. And he hits it. <laughs> tombstone pile driver. 
a signature move of Nick Aldis. Nick Aldis going to the top rope. Top rope for this neck breaker. Wait just a second, fans. Hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. Look at me, huh? You want to ruin my celebration? It's me always ready, Matt Cardona, the real NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. Don't you wish you had this? <laughs> Matt Cardona making his presence felt here in this World Championship match, distracting Aldis, giving Gresham the room and time that he needs to step on a figure four. Matt Cardona's made his presence felt ahead of NWA's Crockett Cup. And Aldis is down, and he pins him, is that it? Is that it? Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, and still Ring of Honor World Champion, Jonathan Gresham! A distraction from Matt Cardona gave Gresham the opportunity he needed to take advantage of that injured knee. that guys that's understandable I understand that Mark Cardona he thinks he owns the wrestling world but you know what he does not the wrestling world belongs to men like me and Nick Aldis yeah. men like us carry on the legacy of what this industry was built upon and if I have anything to do or say about what happens going forward, I don't care if this match happens again here in Championship Wrestling for Memphis. I don't care if it happens in Ring of Honor. I don't care if it happens in NWA. I don't care if it happens in my own company, Terminus. But this match will happen again with no with no interference. I want to prove to the world that I am what I say I am. And as the best professional wrestler in the world.